Good morning, everybody. I actually just got to work. I forgot my little tripod thing, so can't hold the phone and drive. Not that talented. Plus, it's not safe. So, um, as you can see behind me, we have palm trees. Uh, the sun is um, really bright, so I have to hold the phone, you know, kind of a weird angle. But I figured you guys would like to see our green palm trees. <laughs> we don't have snow, obviously. I live in Florida. But, um, you know, the palm trees are pretty, but... I, I like the autumn, but I hate cold, so I guess I'll just be happy with what I got. So, quick update uh, non-teeth related. As some of you know, I have been running, uh, and I was training for my first half marathon, which I knew I could do the 13.1 miles no problem, because I'm actually up to running 20 miles. Um, but my challenge was to run the 13.1 miles, you know, uh, with a good time. Um, so I'm happy to report that on November 12th, I did complete that first half marathon and my finishing time was two hours, 27 minutes. I'm happy about that because my goal was to complete it as close to two hours, 30 minutes as possible. But I figured I would go over that. I figured it would be, you know, between 236 and 245, to be honest with you, uh, because that's what I've usually ran it in. But I actually completed it three minutes faster. You'd say, oh, three minutes, that's no big deal. But in running, minutes are a big deal. Seconds actually matter. Um, but it's it's rough, you know, to to keep up a good pace and then at the end, if you have any energy left, you know, to give it all you got. But, you know, like with the whole denture thing, you, you have to work at it. And, you know, there's sometimes you wanna just, uh, you know, you're frustrated, but you just gotta stay with it. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and I'll keep training because my next goal is to do my half marathon in two hours, 15 minutes. So I'll be working hard on that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, so as far as the, the teeth go, um, I've noticed that my reline is finally, you know, not as snug as, as it was on my bottom denture. Um, I got it on October 27th, so I'm coming up on four weeks, actually this Thursday. Uh, so that makes sense. So that lasted a while, I think. I'm going to go ahead and make an appointment uh, for my, when I'm at six weeks from the 27th because I definitely want to get another reline because it really helps to keep that bottom denture um, secure you know I still use adhesive um, I've still been using my um, you know a combination of fixident the uh, gel the gum care and the fixident powder I still use that even with the reline and up until yesterday that was lasting me and I wasn't having to reapply however as of yesterday I did need to reapply the adhesive and I know that's just because well two reasons one um, the reline is no longer as snug but two I eat some pretty hard foods like apples and grapes so I'm really challenging that um, the bottom denture as far as you know I I'm eating foods that can make it come loose um, okay, so the other thing is, since my extractions, I've been using um, Fixident Gum Care, whether it be by itself on the bottom denture or in combination with the powder. I've used that, you know, consistently. Well, I wanted to try something a little different, so I got the Fixident um, Complete, and it's... Uh, I noticed, you know, I, I applied it yesterday when I had to reapply... Um, adhesive to the bottom denture in the afternoon it was actually kind of early because I was eating apples um, it's a lot thicker I don't I don't like it as much as um, the the gum care the gum care is more of a gel that's how I classify it and the fix it and complete is paste like a you know it's a it's more it's thicker and also the application tip is the hole is much larger so for me on the bottom denture i found it challenging to apply it uh, because i have the reline on my bottom denture so the width of my bottom denture is not as big as people that don't have a reline so that i found a little challenging um but i wanted to try it so it it helped 
um, throughout the evening, uh, definitely. So I can say it does hold really good. Now this morning I used the fix it Dent Complete again, um, you know, it's thicker, but I went ahead and did apply the powder after, just because I knew that I was going to be eating apples, you know, so I, I want to see today how long it lasts from applying it at 6 a.m. I want to see how long it, it lasts. I'll let you guys know. But uh, yeah, I, you know, if you find something that works, stick with it, but I thought, well, you know, let me try the other kind too, just so I know, you know, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to try. And if I don't like something, I, uh, a friend at work, her, her boyfriend got dentures a few months ago. So I just give my stuff to him. Like, I don't like the polygrip. I had bought a tube of that and I, I tried it once and I didn't like it. So I gave that to him. But, um, other than that, I'm, doing good. Uh, Thanksgiving, of course, is coming up on Thursday, so tomorrow I will be taking a day off of work, which is rare for me, and I'm going to be cooking and doing some preparation, you know, uh, because then Thanksgiving morning, I want to do a little turkey trot 5k, just a little 3.1 miles. It's really nothing, but I like the little finishing metal. It's a little turkey, so um, I want to add that because last year, I wasn't running at this time. I was just walking, and I was like, you know, next year, I hope that I can run a 5k, which <laughs> look at me now, I'm doing half marathons. Anyways, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I've been thinking about all of you guys, and I'm so happy that Demond was uh, able to eat his corn on the cob. I'm so happy. <laughs> I ate so much corn on the cob this summer, you guys. My family was like, corn again, mom, really? <laughs> and the sad thing is corn really doesn't have any nutritional value. But I was just so happy that I could eat it. That and apples, too. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. And then um, Alan, DJ Rap, he's eating a lot of food that I, at one month out that I couldn't eat. I mean, he's eating peanuts and you know, a lot of different things that I was not eating at one month. So that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, I don't do food videos anymore, really. Well, not anymore, but, um, you know, cause other people have done it. So Bill's taking care of the food for the most part. So I'll let him continue to be the food king. So, all right, guys, I got to get into work. So I hope you have a great day and happy Turkey day if you celebrate. So I will uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.